Henke Sass Wolf, a leading player in medical device technology with approximately 1,200 employees, has been involved in the concept, design, production, and commercialization of innovative, quality livestock injectors and applicators for the past 95 years. With the newest R&D methods, a state-of-the-art production in Germany, and of course, high quality standards, it guarantees its customers clear benefits in their equipment needs. Henke Sass Wolf offers a wide range of veterinarian syringes, among them our well-known Ecomatic line. Ecomatic Twin Two white bottle collars for bottles with 20 millimeters. Two blue bottle collars for bottles with 30 millimeters. Two tubing collars. Two PVC tubes. Instructions for use. The HSW Ecomatic Twin is available in various fixed dose barrel combinations. The HSW Ecomatic Twin can be used in multiple setups to accommodate all bottle types and sizes. Any combination of bottle mount collar and tubing are possible. Turn the adjustable barrel collar while holding the barrel to loosen. Once loose, you can adjust the barrel position as required. To tighten, hold the barrel in position and tighten the barrel collars. Important! When using the syringe as a bottle mount, the spike and bottle must always face upwards. With a draw-off setup, the tubing collar can be upward or downward facing. The needle distance can be changed based on the age, size, and type of animal. There are seven needle distance settings between 20 millimeters and 36 millimeters possible. Loosen the needle nut. Take the needle nut off and position the metal needle fitting in one of the seven positions. Tighten the needle nut. Insert the needles onto the lure lock fitting and secure the needles clockwise. Attach the tubing to the spigot collar. Push the tube on the spigot as much as possible to ensure a tight connection. With a bottle mount tubing combination, it is recommended to partially prime the tubing side first, then afterwards the bottle mount side. This will avoid product waste on the bottle mount side during the priming of the tubing. It is recommended to make a pilot hole in the rubber cap of the bottle prior to connecting to the syringe spike. Use a sterile needle to puncture the rubber cap, then guide the spike through this hole. Select the corresponding collar size to fit your bottle. Guide the spike into the pilot hole in the center of the bottle. Turn the bottle until the collar fits securely on the bottle. Hold the Ecomatic at a slight incline and take care that the spike is below the liquid to avoid sucking air into the barrel. Squeeze the adjustable handle and then release quickly to draw fluid into the barrel until no air bubbles are inside the barrel. Remove all traces of material from syringe by flushing thoroughly with a hot water detergent mix. Rinse thoroughly with clean, warm water. It is recommended that the Ecomatic Twin and a supply of needles or nozzles be disinfected before and after each use. Suspend the complete Ecomatic Twin, including needles or nozzles, in a container of water and boil for up to 20 minutes. 
Ideally, the cylinder will be disassembled from the handle and the syringe will be boiled in a disassembled condition. Remove the Ecomatic Twin from container and let it dry. Lubricate the O-rings with 100% pure oil, cold squeezed, or equivalent vegetable oil. Reassemble the syringe. In case a new syringe is not priming, there may be a piece of bottle rubber stuck in the syringe, which can occur if care is not taken to insert the bottle on the spike. Always take care to pre-puncture the bottle rubber with a clean needle prior to attaching the bottle. To clear the blockage, submerge the syringe in clean water and pump vigorously 10 to 20 times to clear. If this does not help, boil the syringe for 20 minutes, then pump through in clean water. This should help loosen any blockages. In case the syringe is drawing air, the front valve behind the metal needle nut might be closed. The valves can be released by gently tapping the front of the syringe against an object, e.g. the edge of a table, and afterwards rinsing the syringe with warm water.